And so let me talk about the cards. We have here the High Priestess. This is spiritual enlightenment, and this is um, pretty much about reaching some type of a solution, okay? Looking at things more like through, through intuitive hits, through psychic downloads, through getting some type of unexpected solution to a problem. There was definitely a problem that got you really, really stuck, Capricorn. We have here the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords is a situation where we don't know where to turn. We don't know who we can rely on. We don't know if we have all the necessary information. We don't know which option to choose. And we don't know which what decision or what choices to make, okay? So this is a very, very stuck energy. And keep in mind, there's nobody holding this person hostage. This person is in this predicament because of their own... I, I want to say, like, it's not anybody's fault, but this is sort of like, you find yourself here in this state where you are unable to, to make a decision because you feel like you don't have all the information. You're also at a point where there are too many, like, there's too much information. There can be too many people, too many things to factor into the equation. And you might not feel like you have all the information to adequately make this decision. And so, if this is, you know, happening at the beginning of the month, it, it very well could be. You have arrived at a very, very strong spiritual download. This information is coming in from your spirit guides, just so you guys know. It's not internal, okay? It, it's like, it's almost like it's a solution that you haven't really thought about before. And this Mercury retrograde period is really, really helping you. It's helping you focusing on where you want to go rather than focusing on all the other things, obstacles that you have to overcome between you and your destination. And as a result of that, you're definitely able to move ahead, okay? This is like full speed ahead, moving in a very, very swift manner, being able to kind of like I said, blast through those obstacles, okay? This is like the, the rocket getting ready to take off. Um, so I do see a lot of people in the creative field that might have had some type of creative blockages, uh, burnt out, you know, like um, being overworked, over worrying, dealing with um, deadlines, like tight deadlines, a lot of like productivity quotas, and not really sure if you're going to be able to meet all the hours, not making, not really sure if you're going to be get, getting all your work done on time. So I'm feeling like there was a major time crunch possibly at the beginning of the month and we're seeing the very end of the time crunch. Okay. Um, others of you, I'm getting a lot of spiritual energy and what it means to me personally is um, I feel like there was that time crunch and you're just like, please, please, you know, praying, you're like praying, um, tell, asking, please give me more time. Please allow me to, you know, get this project done on time. Please allow me to take care of everything that I need to take care of in a timely manner. And I, I feel almost like you were either physically praying or you might have said a little prayer in your head. And I feel like you're, you know, the universe, the divine, your spirit guides, whatever you want to call it. They really, they heard you, okay? They heard you and they bought you more time. And I do see as well, some of you assignments dashed off, okay? It's almost like th this time crunch really got to you and um, you try to get everything in. And so when we are dealing with a time crunch, we kind of have to make sacrifices too, you know? So I'm going to turn in, so let's say you have five things that are due, and you know you have to turn them all in. And so what you do is you spend a little bit less time to perfect the quality of each of these assignments. And so you might have dashed off, you know, all five assignments. It met the deadline, but you're getting some type of results that, and, and you know, you guys are really hard on yourself when it comes to your work. And you're starting to realize that, uh, you know, the quality is not exactly what I was looking for. Okay. And then I feel like if you, those assignments are being handed over to somebody who makes the final approval, who looks it over, you don't have to worry because 
what you feel. You guys are really hard on yourself. Earth signs are really hard on themselves. And so you're just like, I wish I had more time. I wish I'd done it differently. And so you're in this state where you're just like, I wonder what they're going to say. I wonder if they're going to like the, the outcome or the end result. I wonder if I'm going to get really positive feedback. You are going to get very positive feedback. We have the star here. Okay. And mean, in the meantime, when this is coming through, this is basically a card about recognition, fame as well. It's a card about inspiration and wish fulfillment. So this is pretty much a lot of blessings that's going to be coming in for you. And I feel like, you know, whatever you have sent out into the world, it's going to be very well received. Okay. It's going to get you recognition. It's going to also six of wands is a big card about success. It's going to get you a wide following. It's going to get you a lot of recognition and you're going to be, you know, going through some type of a acknowledgement phase where people are telling you you're being acknowledged for, you know, whatever project, whatever work, whatever um, situation you were involved in that you spent a lot of time and a lot of resources and a lot of your personal energy trying to get it off the ground. You're going to be, it's going to be very well received pretty much. Okay. And so in the future, I see some of you saying like, please help me this time. And next time I promise I'll, you know, spend more time on it. And I feel like your guides heard you. They really stepped in and intervened here and really helped you get some major thing off the ground. And the promise that you make, you have to keep. So that means we don't want a repeat of whatever is happening here. We want to make sure that we allocate enough time to situations so that they this doesn't happen again so that you don't deal with this time crunch the next mercury retrograde period which is you know in about four months time three and a half months time okay so that's just something you want to be cognizant about okay i feel like some of you turn in something and you're just like if it had more time it would be you know perfect and I feel like no no matter what it's still really really getting you know positive results it's and it's getting it, it, it passed the, the, the bar. It, it passed the critics. So I feel like it, it's still, it's still really high quality work, but you don't believe so because you guys are very hard on yourself. Okay. So if we move away from this energy, everything on this side looks really just amazing. So let me talk a little bit about this here. Finances and career, 10 of um, pentacles. And we have as well the judgment card. Um, news coming in from family members. Okay. There's going to be a lot of heavy news, family gathering, families get together, uh, news like, you know, baby showers, uh, birth pregnancies, um, get togethers regarding like celebration of like a major milestone. Okay. Uh, family members could be getting married engagements. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of, um, even like, you know, 10 year anniversaries, like really, really big, um, family gatherings that, um, I, I'm seeing like, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, the Pentacle suit deals with earthly things. So it's a very slow moving energy. This is a family card and it indicates wealth and prosperity, especially wealth like joint finances that has been built up over time. So I feel like many of you are in a position where you are getting paid really, really well. You might have seen as well. This is the success card, a major uptick when it comes to your financial situation, either getting a bonus, getting a raise, getting recognition, which would guarantee that there's a raise down the line for you. So I see a major escalation or a major uptick when it comes to your financial situation. Um, if you share finances or have joint finances with another person, I'm definitely seeing as well some, you know, some really, really good news coming through on the financial front, you know, it is, uh, we're nearing tax season or the end of tax season. So for some of you, there could be bonuses. There could be, you know, um, money coming back in for you. So I, I do see these things that, um, that will make you quite happy. It's like giving you a little bit of a bounce in your step. Okay. And then I'm also feeling as well, if you are dealing with a fire sign in particular, so this is, um, especially like a Leo energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And we have news, communication, new love, messages of love, or communication with another person where they really 
open up and they start to express to you, if this is like a long-standing partner, things are going to be really, really good between the two of you. There might even be uh, a lot of like getting together, introducing you to their family, um, meeting their family as well for the first time and things like that. So if you are in particular dealing with a fire sign, they are also at a point where they might be um, coming into a lot of success as well. Okay, they're, they're coming into a lot of success. So like their career is looking really, really good. They might be getting a promotion. And I feel like, you know, in a way, they're going to shower you with a lot of gifts. They're going to shower you with a lot of attention because I know that many of you really stick by your partner, okay, through thick and thin. Like you, you're there for them. You give them advice. You are kind of like the career coach. You show them how to do things. And you're very, very big on developing your partner's professional um, reputation or even helping your, your partner professionally or even on the work front, okay? And so I feel like, you know, they're coming into their own luck and fortune and they're going to be able to shower you with a lot of gifts as a result of you standing kind of like by their side through through their own, you know, professional slums or through their own slump in when it comes to their self-esteem, okay? Um, I have the star and the hermit and the high priestess. Um, these are major arcana cards and they're, they're very, very spiritual cards, okay? They're all about the sixth sense, awakening the sixth sense, believing in spirituality, uh, believing in prayers, believing that there is a divine source out there that's, you know, maneuvering behind the scenes, helping to align things and put things in order for us. And I feel like many of you are at a point where if you weren't a believer before, this month is making you a believer. Okay. And so this is your spirit guides right here, guiding you to your destiny. And with the high priestess, it's the unveiling process. So the unveiling process has to happen first. So they came pretty much in this order, right? You have to kind of like unveil yourself and you have to kind of uh, let go of the skepticism, okay? This is like whatever veil, you know, it's sort of like that movie, The Matrix, where um, The Matrix is all make-believe. And so we kind of have to train our mind to look at a situation through a different perspective and trust that reality can be all very, very relative, okay? So I feel like there's a major unveiling process happening here where you are discovering something. It's almost like, you know, finding a treasure, digging for treasure and then finding it, digging for bones for those of you who are archaeologists, and then finding like something uh, peeking out from under, you know, under the, the earth, unearthing something. And so this has to happen first. And then your guides will come in and show you the way. And the star is pretty much about, you know, your alignment, where you're supposed to be, where you're supposed to go. And ultimately, what your destiny is, what your ultimate destiny is. And so I feel like many of you are at a point where you're kind of, um, you know, the, the past year has not been easy for a lot of Capricorns. And I, I feel really bad because uh, I know that you you guys have been hit really, really hard. And the best way that I can explain it is, it is a, a Saturn transit, and Saturn deals with obligation, responsibilities. It's not a fun planet. It stays in your sign for about three years. So it has already passed your sign for a year. So you've got like, I'm sorry to say, another, you know, uh, over a year and a half of it left. But what it does is that it forces us to be the bigger person. It forces us to take care of the things that are important to us. And Saturn is also your ruling planet. And what, what it does is that it's comfortable in your sign, actually. Okay, but it does bring up a lot of um, uncomfortable things, too. Emotions, especially, you know, because you guys are very stoic. Whenever you have problems... You kind of, um, you, you don't tell other people about it. You don't open up. And 
you don't see them as problems. You you kind of see them as, you know, oh, that's just a minor snag in the road of life, or that's just a, a little bump, or that's just a, a temporary obstacle. I'm going to get through it. And, and because of that, you do get through it. You know, one foot in front of the other and just keep moving, right? Like, that's your mantra. And um, I, I feel like, you know, the last year was uh, a lot of unexpected things happen and a lot of responsibilities were placed on you. Moving into this year, you're already used to having those uh, responsibilities imposed on you. And so this year is a little bit smoother and then next year gets a lot smoother. But what it's doing right now is for us to kind of like make some changes when it comes to how to streamline and make things more efficient and be more adaptable. And at the same time, I, I definitely feel many people had a very, very rough go last year. And you're also turning into spiritual insights to help you explain and help you make sense of everything that you're going through, which is great because I feel like, you know, once we are aware of what's happening and how and what we're supposed to learn from things, it makes it a lot easier because then we don't focus on the problem. We focus on the solution. Then we don't focus on, you know, oh, woe is me. We, we to focus more on self-care and self-empowerment. So I feel like that's what's happening here because you are definitely aligned. And you're also getting, you know, uh, in a way, your understanding as well. You have this innate understanding that uh, hard work always pays off. And that's why, you know, you always put one foot in front of the other. Do what you're supposed to do. You don't whine. You don't complain. You don't, uh, sh um, like, shrug your responsibilities off on other people. And then I also see on the flip side, okay, and this is for the, the ones that have shrugged responsibilities off on other people or might not have been very responsible when it comes to their actions. Um, those of you that have um, been doing that, I feel like, you know, Saturn was just this major, like, wake-up call. You know, it's like those pins getting knocked down, okay? All those excuses that we make all of those things that we should have done differently that we were just like, oh, I can do it another day, like procrastination, things that we procrastinated on or things that we um, we know we should do, we know we should change, like, you know, we know that they're not good for us so we need to kind of let them go. Um, you might be hit a little bit hard and I, I definitely feel like you find yourself in this space very, very stuck. There's no movement and there's a lack of direction here. And what I would urge you to do is, yes, revert to spirituality before you go to sleep, you know, say a few prayers. And if you're feeling really, really stuck, you want to ask for guidance. OK, your guides are definitely hovering around you and whatever, you know, you believe in, whoever you believe in. Um, say a little prayer and I feel like you're going to get some really strong psychic hits. The energy is definitely here. Uh, it's to your advantage to utilize it. Whenever I'm stuck with a problem, and um, this was before I got into, you know, spirituality. Uh, I remember I was in high school. I had a math problem and it pl it haunted me for days and I could not solve it. And I went to sleep and then I found the solution uh, in my dreams. Okay, so it does help. You will you will get all your, your questions answered. You will get solutions to long-standing problem. And uh, it's okay to ask for help, okay? And that means ask for spiritual guidance. Ask for help from the people around you. Because this card here indicates a lot of love coming from family. A lot of love, okay? Um, for many of you guys... The family environment might not have been, you know, oozing with love and affection. There might have been estrangement between mom and dad. There might be, you know, a, a lot of people like siblings that are, um, you know, ambitious. Okay. And, and they're, they're busy with work. They're busy doing their own things and they're not like physically available. But when it comes to responsibility, I see a big family unit that has a big sense of responsibility towards each other. So they might not tell you, oh, I, I really love you. I care about you. They, they, they don't, you know, talk about those mushy things. 
but they're de definitely there. So if you need help, like if you need physical help, if you're gun shy about, you know, spiritual help and you need something concrete, you definitely can reach out. And I feel like the message is to urge you to, to reach out because um, I'm seeing a lot of ancestral energy. And when that comes up, it usually means a whole clan, a whole family, a whole tribe is being protected from people like in that um, bloodline that have passed away. So that usually means your whole family is protected. And because of that, your guides might want you to ask your family because they're going to be there. <laughs>